So what's up guys welcome to AGT tech and motivation YouTube channel and welcome to this new video So in today's video I wanted to answer this question from a while that most of the people are planning to get the iPhone 10s And not just the 10s but even the 10s max and just I want to convey to in today's video That should you buy the iPhone 10s and 10s max in 2019 when there are more reports or leaks that the Apple's going to be introducing an iPhone 11 with the third camera I have of course made a lot of videos regarding the iPhone 11 so do check them out and so without any further ado let's get in our today's video so the number one factor whenever you are kind of choosing for a new iPhone or let it be any smartphone is has to be the overall perspective is that deal actually making sense for you guys well the iPhone 10 actually has like the dual camera setup has the one of the bestest battery lives in any iPhone Again, the iPhone XI is the best battery life iPhone ever, but the XS battery is not actually any problematic. And not things doesn't end up here, but also the iPhone XS has the same display which is with the iPhone X and it is also expected that the iPhone 11 is going to be having the same display panel. So in the display department, I think there is going to be no problem and I think that is this, the iPhone XS display. The OLED panel is the best display you can ever get in any smartphone. And not just that, with the iPhone XS you know overall aesthetic looks feel the premium a stainless steel and glass enclosure and just everything regarding the iPhone 10 is actually make a lot of sense for a lot of consumers and that's the only thing or you can say like most of the people even though the iPhone 11 is going to be launched people are going to go for the iPhone 10 and 10 max just because its price is going to be getting dropped drastically as new iPhones are going to be replacing them and not just that but in reality you know the iPhone 10s and 10s Max with the 812 Bionic chip you know they are the bestest performing iPhones ever made and just they're going to be keeping on their legacy and I think getting an iPhone 10s in 2019 does make sense even though you want a latest iPhone and like you're thinking like from two, two three years that one year I've been going to get the brand new iPhone but if you know the iPhone 11's price is going to be increased and that time the iPhone 10s and 10s Max you know the iPhone 10 is 64 gig version will come down to $800 and later on to $700 and that will make a lot of sense for many consumers and even though iPhone 11 is going to be launched the iPhone 10 is, is going to be selling like crazy and just at the end of today you know just at the you know when you take this question you know overall perspective it's only clear that the iPhone 10 is does make a lot of sense for all of the people and there are going to be a lot of people who will go or prefer the iPhone XS over the iPhone 11 just because like a third camera you know ultra wide camera will not make a drastic difference for a technology person or a person who cares about having the latest technical technological product the iPhone 11 will make a lot of drastic difference for but for an any other normal consumer who just want to you know a smartphone with a better camera and just overall it should last long well the iPhone XS and XS Max are the best options and so guys at the end of today's video I just want to wrap up that if you are still planning to get the iPhone XS after a year or about its launch well my answer is yes you can still go for it but I would like suggest you to wait for the September keynote and then go for the iPhone XS and XS Max because it's not yet sure but Apple might introduce a budget friendly iPhone in that keynote it is uh, the predictions are very but I think that uh, you know you have waited a long so just increasing our waiting list for about like two three weeks from now will definitely give you good fruits so hope so you like you have liked this today's video and just at the end of the today's video I just want to tell that if you want if you want to get the iPhone tennis in like the six months period from now you can surely go and get it so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and peace